Hi guys, happy Saturday. Um, I am so excited because I got my unique brow pencil in the mail and I have been getting, seriously guys, like for the past probably three or four years, so many requests for me to do a brow tutorial. Um, so I thought, why not start our Saturday? I thought I had lipstick on my teeth. Why not start our Saturday with some pretty brows? So I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. I'm gonna show you the products that you're gonna need to get this look. Um, I had a bobby pin. I was gonna bobby pin my hair back, but I'll just tuck it behind my ears. Um, so I have the Moodstruck Precision Brow Liner in the shade Medium. My hair is black, so I probably honestly could get the dark shade, um, but I like to have lighter brows. I don't necessarily want them to be like black. Um, I want like a really nice arch, but I don't want them to be so dark that they are like fake looking. I don't know if that makes sense. So anyway, so this is what the pencil looks like. Um, has the cap right here. And then the one thing that I really like about this is that you can twist it up and you can twist it down. A lot of brow pencils, um, once you twist it up, you can't retract the actual product back down into uh, the little container. So I like that. It also has a spoolie. This is so perfect to brush your eyebrows up. Um, and then I'll show you when we are like all done. Um, it's gonna help to kind of like blend all of the product into place. So you're gonna need your uh, Moodstruck Precision Brow Liner pencil, and I will link it down below so you guys can grab it. Um, you're also gonna need a concealer. I really like this Skin Perfecting Concealer from Unique. This is part of their Mineral Touch line um, because it has a really nice, thick consistency. Now, using a con uh, concealer to kind of carve out the tail end of your brows, it's going to kind of give you um, more of a precise look. Uh, you don't have to do this if you wanted something maybe a little bit more natural. I would actually recommend not to do this, but I just like to have like those sharp ends and that sharp arch to my brow. So you're going to need this. To apply that, um, I actually am going to use our cream shadow brush. So you're basically just going to apply the concealer to like the very tip of it and then just apply it and I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, I also like to just use an angled brush just to um, blend out the center of my brow. Again, that just gives you a really nice like um, natural look so that the corners of your brows aren't like squared off. You really want it to just be like really smooth and blended and seamless. Um, another thing that is going to be a really big lifesaver for you guys that have thicker brows and um, like denser eyebrows where you have like a lot of actual eyebrow hair. I have like literally no eyebrow hair, so this isn't necessarily something that I need to do, but we do actually carry a brow gel that will um, actually like adhere fibers to your brows. Um, most of my eyebrow is just gonna be product as you guys are gonna see. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. So you're going to um, do this after your foundation has already been like set in place. Um, you don't want your foundation to budge. So I usually wait until like the very end of all of my makeup. So I already have my two coats of my fibers. They're already like set and my makeup is all done. If you guys are wondering also, um, this is the sleek lip stain and I am absolutely obsessed with it. So anyway, there's three rules plus a bonus rule when it comes to your brows. The first rule is your eyebrow is going to start where the corner of your eye starts. So a really easy way to do this is you're just gonna hold the brow, the brow liner right there, and you're just gonna create a dot. If I'm looking over here, it's because I have a mirror. So you're just gonna create kind of a line. If you want more of a dramatic brow, you can kind of bring it forward a little bit and have it go just a little bit past that line. So for you guys that um, are newbies, we're gonna kind of create the shape first. So we have that shape, that's the beginning. Now what you're gonna do is you are going to look just dead straight on and you're going to um, hold your brow pencil just to the side of your pupil, just like that. See, right here? This is where we want our arch to start. 
So you see my arch actually naturally starts about right here. So we're just going to move it to start right here. See, now we have our beginning, our middle, now we're going to do the end. So you're just going to hold your brow pencil just kind of in line with your eye. So about right there, that's where we're going to have our eyebrow end. Perfect. So now you guys, we have the beginning of our brow. We have the middle of our brow, which we actually kind of like customized our own eyebrow shape because our natural arch starts right here. Again, if you wanted more of a natural look, you could just work off of your natural arch. However, I like really dramatic, like thick shaped arches. Those are the first three steps, beginning, middle, and end. So you're basically just kind of like stenciling out what your brow shape is going to look like. One thing to keep in mind, um, the thicker your eyebrows are, it's actually going to make you look a little bit more youthful. So um, I always tell people, especially if you are a new beginner to filling in your brows, go a little bit thicker than you normally would um, just because it's going to actually make you look younger. So we're just going to go ahead and fill that in. So you see how I just did basically a straight line and then just started to arch it at that middle point. So now that's done. I like to work with the, this first part of my brow before I work on the tail. So now we're gonna do the top. You see my natural brows stop right here. However, I like mine a little bit thicker, so I'm gonna probably Fill mine in to about there. And we're literally, we're just creating the same shape that's on the bottom. With the arch, you are going to thin out the arch just a little bit. Hey. Huh. I need your help. Come here. I'm filming a video right now. You're filming a video? Uh-huh. Right now? Uh-huh. You're going to have to edit this? The, can, the more you talk, the more... You are involved in my brow video. Okay, just sell it real fast then. Do you want me to get you rid of this? Yeah. Okay, okay now um, you see how right here we didn't bring this all the way forward. You're going to want to leave that gap open as you start to fill this in. And I'll show you why. Okay, so this is all done. We're going to fill this in now. You can skip forward if you don't want to watch this, but I think for people that um, maybe have never filled in their brows, they might want to see like how I'm doing this. So I'm literally just taking the pencil and I'm actually filling that in that skin right there. That's not even eyebrow. So I'm just kind of flicking the, uh, the brow pencil just to kind of give it the same um, texture as my natural hair. So. You don't want to like go like that. You just want to flick. It's also going to kind of set your natural brow hairs in place. Okay. So now that is all done. Do you see the difference, you guys? Like, I cannot stress enough how important eyebrows are. So now we're done with this part. You see, this isn't obviously finished. Now we have the end of our brow, and that's just marked off right here. So now what we're going to do, is we're literally just matching it up. And you guys, the closer you are to your brow pencil like this, the harder it's going to be. Hold your brow pencil in the middle. It's going to give you a lot more uh, control. And then we are just going to match this line up on top down to the bottom. So that is our brows. Now you're gonna go in, you're gonna grab that angled brush. Okay, really weird. I like lick my fingers and just get the tip of that really sharp. Really sharp, you can kind of see. And now we're just going to take this product all right here and we are just blending. You're literally just going like 
in the where you want your eyebrow to start and you're just pushing back and it's just naturally going to bring that product forward it seriously looks so natural you see how it's like almost like an ombre effect okay so now we're going to take um our spoolie on our brow product on our brow pencil and we're just going to really softly just not going anywhere down here we're just going at the top half we're just really softly blending that product through so at this point you could be all done and it's totally fine a lot of the times this is all that i do i just have um my actual brow product on there and i call it a day what you can do is you can take some of that mineral touch skin perfecting concealer apply it to the back of your hand you're going to take your cream shadow brush and you're going to just get a little bit of that on the tip just like this you see you just have some of that and now we're just going to outline our brows okay so you see we're outlining really really easy so now it's outlined do you see that now we're going to take the extra product and we're going to blend that down do you see what that just did for us that just gave us really sharp precise brows and now we just have a highlight underneath our eye now you see how sharp that is? If that's too much for you, go in with um, like your foundation brush or even your uh, powder brush and blend it out. Sometimes it's a little too much. I don't wanna look like a drag queen when I go get my teeth cleaned at the dentist. You just take your finger and just blend it. You're gonna go in with the rest of that extra product and you're gonna go where your arch starts and you're just going to carve out that top. Okay guys, do you guys see that? Look. There you go. Happy Saturday. I want to see your guys' before and after. Do you see how amazing that is? Look at that difference. Like, oh, whoa. Seriously, look at that. So this is before. I'm still beautiful. I still feel fabulous, but I don't feel as confident because I just don't have gorgeous eyebrows, naturally. And then that's after. How beautiful. So again, let's go over... The three things that we need, one, two, the four things that we need, we need our unique Moodstruck brow liner, okay? Done deal. You need this. Um, you also need an angled brush. Get it at Target, get it at Ulta, wherever you need it. You need your skin perfecting concealer, okay? It's gonna really help carve out. And also if you make like a mistake and say you like messed up right here, Going in with that concealer is going to help fix your mess ups. And the last thing that you need is your cream shadow brush. Okay, guys? So that is the finished deal. I hope that you guys liked it. Um, I'm getting makeup all over my jeans. Happy Saturday. <laughs> Let's go on Unique. I will put the link below and you guys can go shop your little hearts out. And I'm expecting for all of my customers and all of my friends on my party pages and on my personal party page to have brows on hashtag fleek. So go get your brow product. Bye guys.